Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we are talking hacks. Who doesn't love, love, love a skincare or beauty hacks video? However, most of the products that they share and most of the tips and tricks they give you are absolutely rubbish. You know, from smearing the lemon juice on your skin, never do that. But putting the toothpaste on the zit just not a good idea to some I've seen people like run you know dental floss down their nose to remove blackheads really bad idea so whilst I like a hacks video most of them are rubbish and so today I'm going to give you a hacks video which is all skin safe all of these um, tips and tricks are going to actually enhance your skin and improve your skincare routine rather than detract from it and today we're focusing down on moisturizers how you can take a really basic moisturizer such as this which is the natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and turn it into overdrive boost your hydration levels drench your skin in the hydration that it needs but uh, saving a few coin at the same time because you know what who doesn't like to save a little bit of money and get some extra value from their product so if that seems like something you'd be interested in keep on watching now I've always said on this channel you don't need to spend a fortune on your moisturizer it should be something that just tops off all the amazing skincare work you've done and provide that surface hydration however if you want to turn it into overdrive these are the hints and tips you need in your life and number one is a tip and a hack that I've mentioned on this channel before but is like my go-to for winter skin. Take your normal summer moisturizer, gives you a nice level of hydration, but when your skin is craving more, just add a few drops of your favorite facial oil. This is rosehip oil, which is my absolute go-to, but I did a whole video on working out which facial oil is right for your skin type, so I'll leave a link to that up there, because it's worth checking it out, because not all facial oils are equal. Two drops of this into your normal bog standard moisturizer will just give you that hydration boost that we all crave for as our skin gets drier and flakier in those winter months. My second hack is for when you have a product that you love but just doesn't sink in or work with your skin type. I'm thinking of the ordinary retinols when I talk about this. These are fantastic products, great strengths, great formulations, but they just will not sink into my skin. We all have those products which sit like a mask. You feel like you can't put products on top of it because it'll just peel and peel. It's just what you don't need in your life, but you want to keep using that product, either because you love the product or because, more likely, you've spent money on it and you kind of want to get your value before you toss it out. Well, use it in your moisturizer. This is like the number one hack for making a product which doesn't work with your skin type actually work, sink in, and do the job it needs to. Add a few drops into your um, moisturizer and that will just help transport it deep into the skin and prevent some of that pilling, the peeling, you know, it not being compatible with your skin type. I always recommend if you're gonna do this hack, using a really simple moisturizer. You don't wanna moisturize with active ingredients already because if you're adding things into it, you don't wanna risk a conflict. So something like the natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid from the ordinary is perfect. Add a few drops of your retinol in there, your vitamin C, whatever product isn't sinking into your skin and working right, but you wanna continue using add it to your moisturizer and bang you get maximum value from the product you don't need to toss it out and you can still get the benefits from those active ingredients that are in the product Number three on this list is something which I think should be obvious, but I see so, so many people doing it wrong. And that is to make sure you're applying moisturizer onto damp skin. If you're, you're moisturizer, think of it as something that just caps off everything that you've already done. It prevents transepidermal water loss, which is where the hydration that's in the skin is evaporated into the atmosphere and lost. It's designed to just cap that off and prevent transepidermal water loss. So why are we applying it to dry skin? What you wanna do is have that absolutely quenched, hydrated skin, cap it off with your simple moisturizer moisturizer and that'll protect that hydration and retain it in the skin for much much longer when i see people applying it to dry skin i think you're using your moisturizer wrong you're trying to add hydration in whereas i'd like to see it as you're capping off the hydration that's already there so if you find at the end of your routine that your skin is dry just add a few drops of your favorite you know hyaluronic acid toner or favorite toner just add it damp it onto the skin and then apply your moisturizer on top and that'll just make sure that the hydration is snatched and within the skin for the rest of the day coming in at number four and this is for people who have a product that they bought they've enjoyed but they find it's just a bit too strong for their skin i'm thinking of something like the paula's choice one percent retinol which i love but sometimes i just don't need that stronger retinol in my life but i don't want to have to buy another product or toss that product out because it's a little bit too strong for me well the solution to this is to use again your simple moisturizer and apply it over the top of the moisturizer. This creates a buffer between your skin and the product. It's gonna dilute it somewhat, and so you're taking that super strength product that's just a little bit too much for your skin, 
putting it on top of a moisturizer which protects the skin, keeps it hydrated, but also buffers out some of the strength of that product. And then you can continue using the product that you've bought knowing it's not going to be too strong and cause the peeling, the redness, the irritation, all the things we don't want in our life. Just apply it on top of your moisturizer and bang, you are good to go. The fifth and final hack that I have for you involves cotton. This is one that I've been using for years and is like a holy grail. It works only on the body because you can't really do it on the face, but on the rest of the body, if you have an area which is super dry and you just don't seem to be able to get the hydration in, take your bog standard moisturizer. You know, something that's cheap and cheerful and slather it on. Then cover it on top with a cotton clothing. The reason this works is cotton A allows the skin to breathe. You still want the skin to be able to breathe, but it traps a layer of warm air between the skin and the cotton, which helps the products to penetrate and work better. It also retains the moisture in the skin a little bit better and protects the area. This is fantastic. What I love to do, if you have like dry feet and hands in particular, just put on a load of your favorite moisturizer. Cheaper the better though, because you don't want to be you know wasting your La Mer bougie on this, but put a whole lot of your favorite drugstore moisturizer on. Then slip a sock on your hand or on your feet. When you wake up the next morning, you will notice the hydration has gone into overdrive. This is like my number one hack for getting the most out of your body moisturizer. You don't have to spend any more money because everyone has a cotton sock in their life. Slip it on the hands. No one's judging you. You're asleep. No one needs to judge you. Slip it on your hands and in the morning, your hands will be hydrated. Your feet will be soft and smooth and you will just be able to tackle those areas which so far you've been unable to get the right level of hydration in. Also works if you have like cotton pyjamas and you're doing an all over um, body uh, moisturization, sleep with cotton pyjamas. On works just as well. But the key thing is to retain that heat to get that product working better and also keep it in contact with the skin for longer. Top tip, so easy, affordable, and just a fantastic, fantastic way of upping your body moisturization gain. There you are, guys. I said I should keep it short and sweet. That is five hacks to get the most out of the basic and simple moisturizer that you have in your routine. For all of these hacks, I'd recommend just using a simple moisturizer that hasn't got a load of active ingredients in because you kind of don't want to be adding product and uh, adding ingredients into an already quite complex formulation so something like the ordinary and um, natural moisturizing factors which i'll leave a link to below if you want to check it out is perfect but wherever you are in the world guys i hope you're staying safe and well and leave me any top tips or your favorite moisturizers in the comments below take care bye